it's Sarah. So tonight I wanted to share the mini album I came up with for the itty bitty mini swap steampunk style um, for mini album scraps. Uh, I ended up doing it um, the Kathy Orta the envelope mini album style just like I've done the big ones in the past I've shown you. Um, I had shown this one. I even I showed this one. This is the, a little one too that I had made before. Um, it's the same exact construction with the envelopes and the uh, cards that go in the envelopes as the like mats. So um, I decided to because it, it's supposed to be four by four. Let's see how big it ended up. Three by four. Ooh, four and a quarter by three. I think I'll get away with that. Um, so. I like it. It turned out pretty good. I used a couple different paper pads. I had gotten this one and I forget where I ordered it from now. I think I googled it and because I saw the picture. It's this, it's this stamp, this lady. We've all seen her in different projects from Steampunk, but like if you google stuff then a bunch of pictures come up so you can figure out where it's from. But it's called um, Paper Mania. This is the chronology paper line. I just had the six by six paper pack. So I mostly use that. I used my scrappiest scraps of um, the last of my Graphic 45 Old Curiosity Shop and just a few little pieces of um, the Graphic 45 Steampunk Spells, which I think I might make another one and just use Steampunk Spells because I think I might do that. But it is, it's done, it's good, I like it. It's a little tight. I usually don't put embellishments inside these mini albums, so it came out a little chubbier. And I'm a little disappointed because I made this very, very cute dangle to go with it. It's like the perfect match. And I don't know, I just, I don't feel like it's gonna go there. I, I'd rather put an eyelet here and be able to like make sure that it's not gonna even though it's duct tape I just don't trust it I think I'm gonna raise this up because it feels like I'm gonna go out of focus anyway um so I think I may, might, might make another one um I'm supposed to get a delivery tomorrow from Joann's and uh there's another steampunky paper line in there and I can't think of the name of it it's a very random paper line and it's like, I'm not sure what it's really look going to look like in person. But anyway, um, I have plenty of paper. Um, that's not, there's no excuse. Um, so here's what I did. I just used the Jolie stickers on the front because I just love the butterfly. And then I had these Tim Holtz gears already cut out of chipboard. And I had embossed them in gold. And then I used the gold duct tape. So it kind of just went good. And then these were other stickers from the same set as the butterfly. So I like that. And I put corners on there. And just some of the paper from the paper pack and a little ribbon. I don't remember where I got this ribbon, but I've used it a couple times on my steampunk stuff. And the one of the new things I've done is I use suede on this clasp. And I like how it turned out because usually I put chain through here and make my clasp that way and like hook it to, and then I can have a dangle here. But I didn't need the dangle, so I just like Kirby stop. I just looped it through itself. And the suede is really good because you can really tie a bow and it like holds. It really holds together and it's so soft and cool and steampunky. So I was really happy with that. That was something new for me. I picked that up. Anywho, so here's the first page. I like this paper. See, there she is, Goggle Woman. And I just um, glossy accented her eyes and put a little spindle thing on the clock. I mean a spinner. These are the cards that go in the envelopes. And then here are some of my scraps. I mean, like, this is the um, chronology paper, this green with the writing on it. But then I took some scraps. I had this apothecary stuff. This is apothecary paper from the um, Graphic 45. And this is the apothecary paper. Little liver pills and stuff. And I just put a, um, a gear at the top of the big one on all the big pockets. So it's pretty cool. I like this page. It's, it's kind of green. And then this is from steampunk spells and I just cut that out because there's that little extra place oh my god my dog's freaking out oh I put apothecary up there cut that from the paper line um this one is again this is the chronology paper this is actually from 
a die cuts with a view paper. I forgot I used that. Cut her out of the paper line, and then this is just a scrap from And So's Curiosity from um, Graphic 45. Oh, I actually had her. This is a stamp that I stamped out when I was doing my um, ATC swap. And I put Fantastical Voyage because it's a um, hot air balloon. And just actually, this is gears on here, but it's hard to see. But it was blue, so I did that. And I just put, um, this had polka dots on the inside. And I just put um, craft paper because, I don't know, I didn't think polka dots looked right. But that's how it came. Um, this page has really pretty, this actually might be Steampunk Spells. I think this is Steampunk Spells, this orange and black. And I put Embrace Possibility. And this is Steampunk Spells. And then again, now this is some more of the uh, Graphic 45. Graph 45, Graph 45. Um, these are just itty bitty scraps. Like I had that already matted. And I just added stickles to the um, dragonflies. And this is some more of that other die cuts with a view. But it had dragonflies. This is So it's all mixed up. But it doesn't matter because it all goes together. And then... This is the, this, these two papers are from the chronology um, line. And then I put these, um, I think these are the ones from Michael's. Um, these gears are, there's tons of them in the pack. I can't, it's, a, it's in the beading aisle and I can't think of the name of it. Um, Take Flight I put, and this is Butterflies. This is, I love this paper. I should probably get another, um, old curiosity shop because it's just the coolest paper ever I loved it and he's from and I look I, I did I put some on his glasses glossy accents just like on those eyes and put that that was already cut <laughs> so it was kind of cool because I got to use up my little tiny scraps oh this was cool because both of these pages are in this paper line, the chronology paper line. And I just cut out this hand, the steam and steampunk from the gray paper and glued it on the orange paper. So, kind of cool. But yeah, so it's not too stuffed. People can still put stuff in there. But you had to use, um, I think, nine different embellishments. I didn't even count them. I don't know. I think I did. I think it's good. It's nice. I hope it's enough. Um, they may be stricter over there. I don't know. All right. I'm disappointed, though. I think that's why I think I got to make another one. I have another pack of these uh, butterflies. I might, you might just be seeing another one of these by me made with my bind it all. So I can just, like, hook this on the bind it all, on my binding. So, all right, you guys. I hope that was good. I'm a little farther away than usual, I guess. I don't know. Let me go back down. Let me see. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching.